total. All of you now take, for example, I will give you methane. What is the methane formula, Divya? I have given you methane. What is the methane formula? Methane formula is CH4. Yeah. So please tell me what is the molar mass of CH4. So first you have to find molecular mass. So what is the molecular mass of methane? Tell me. Number of atoms of first element. How many? Divya. Number of atoms of first element. 1 into atomic mass of first element. 12 plus number of atoms of second element. How many guys? Number of atoms of second element. Everybody, 4 into atomic mass of second element is 1. So if you have done 12 into 1, 12 plus 4 into 1, 4, which is equal so much, guys? Yes, please. Nobody? 16, sir. 16. 16. So, so if you will take 16 U, I want molar mass. So molar mass means how much? I am giving more examples to make you better understanding. So molar mass. Gram. Gram. gram molecular mass. 16, which gram. 16 grams. 16 gram. If I'll give 16 grams, 16 grams of methane to some of somebody of you. Now means they'll be having how, how many moles? They'll be having one mole. One mole. Means, which is equals to how many particles? 6.022 into 10 molecules. Okay, means Avogadro number. That is, this number is only called as what number? Avogadro's number. So that is what you have to remember. Hope everybody clear. Anything doubt in this vocal? Aswin? Yes, sir. That is. So, if you understand this only, you can able to solve the numericals in this. So, now let us go for calculation of number of moles. Calculation of number of moles. Please make it. Remember, this is the foundation for your 11th class 9th textbook also it will be there. But I don't know, they are saying that it is deleted. But if you are not doing this now, higher classes, this very very complicated to learn the mole concept because there so much of uh, continuity of this concept so that is why understand the basic thing otherwise later you have to be getting insulting from the teachers and all in the higher classes okay so calculation of number of moles so we start now harizera understand now concentrate very carefully what is the calculation of number of number of moles means so directly I'm coming to the formula. Okay. So you remember number of particles. Particles means we know two things. What is that particles means? You must be understand. Particles means either it may be a what it is. Either it may be a what? You have to respond. What is Nimish? Particles means two things we can say. What is it again? Molecular atoms. They may be atoms or they may be a what? Molecules. So both are same. You have to remember either atoms or molecules. So I, I, we know that they are very, very small in size. So we cannot count them because they are not having a proper size to count and they are not in a small number to count also. So they can be calculated only in the terms of only we can calculate them. Calculate in terms of what? In terms of only one concept that is called as moles because they are too small it is difficult to count by number is it okay guys yes or no yes sir Okay, so now let us see how we can find this. As it is, atoms and molecules are too small. We have to find, we cannot count them by normal, and they are also in extremely large number. So we always use a concept called as mole concept is to measure or to count the number of particles. So what is this? So let us understand. So number of moles means number of moles 
please remember we'll be having two formulas this is the one number of moles means given mass given mass divided by molar mass this is the first formula so we have to use this formula remember always when they are giving the mass of a substance okay everyone so this number of moles always will represent with a small n small n indicating what guys small n indicating what number of moles okay and given mass we will represent with a small m and molar mass will represent with a capital m is it okay guys yes please yes sir yeah. yes sir okay so that is only the first formula number of moles is equals to given mass divided by molar mass okay all of you so you have any doubt please let me know are you clear this is the first formula now next let us uh, solve one numerical related to that so that you will getting some idea is it okay guys instead of teaching both together let us go with our normal thing so that you will understand okay guys so this is the first formula number of moles is equals to given mass divided by molar mass shall we start first question everybody yes okay so right calculate the number of molecules calculate the number of molecules so they are asking molecules okay right calculate the number of moles calculate the number of moles of 56 grams of methane calculate the calculate the number of number of moles of 56 grams of methane just now i thought methane what is the methane formula okay let's go nimesh respond nimesh arun kailash 56 grams of methane how much formula what is the formula guys see here that is what it is they are asking what now observe very carefully how many moles they are asking so what is the given data everybody tell me what is the given data given what they are giving given how much mass they have given please respond given mass given mass is equals to 56 grams so that is only small m okay given mass of methane is 56 grams now they are not giving you molar mass and they are asking simply calculate the number of moles so now if they are giving you the given mass but they are asking us to find the number of moles so if you want to find the number of moles always you need to know something what is that anybody what we need to know we need to know the what we have to know guys we have to know what molar mass so molar mass they are not giving be very careful they won't give you the molar mass we have to find keep it in mind when number you are getting in the question mass given mass then immediately note my words you must find one sub one thing what is that guys molar mass okay that is your responsibility so molar mass of methane what is the molar mass of methane fast this you tell molar mass of methane so which is what will represent with the capital m which is equals to what number of atoms of first element ch4 number of atoms of first element is 1 into atomic mass of first element is 12 plus number of atoms of second element is 4 and a number of what is that atomic mass is 1 so which is equals to 12 into 1 12 plus 4 into 1 4 which is equals to how much guys 16 16 grams what is the molar mass what is the molar mass 16 grams any doubt anybody till here harish arun 
that is so now they are asking calculate number of moles so number of moles is equals to given mass divided by molar mass so what is the given mass check it everybody how much given with us abirami 56 grams so given mass is 56 grams and this one molar mass so now here one important thing i say so be very careful the unit of molar mass is gram per how many moles per how many moles can tell me which is equal to how many moles all of you should tell one mole one mole so remember gram per mole that is what it is now only i'm saying please remember whenever you are writing molar mass molar mass of any substance for how many moles for how many moles per one mole that is only we are studying from the beginning please remember one mole if i'll say 32 grams of oxygen molecules for how many moles 32 grams of oxygen molecules per how many moles guys one mole of substance that is only i am saying so that is what you have to remember so now gram per mole so if i write 16 gram per mole so as we know gram gram will get cancelled so now if we solve 56 16 so 16 threes are 48 how much is remaining 3.5 so 80 so 80 So zero. So which is equals to sixteen one sa sixteen three point five sa. So n is equals to how many moles? Moles will go up. Which is equals to how many moles, guys? Three point five mol. Is it right or wrong? All of you. So if I say which is equals to three point five moles. So if I give you fifty six grams of methane, it is having how many moles, guys? Which is equals how many moles? Which is equals to three point five moles. Hope everybody understood. Yes, please. Is yes, that now? That is what it is. So even I will teach you more numericals in this. No need to worry. So this is the first thing. First formula. When we have to use this formula, when they are giving the marks, they are asking us to find the moles. So, what is our primary duty? Whenever you are seeing the given data, given mass, please kindly remember, you must you must remember you have to find the molar mass. Okay, that is what you have to remember. Okay, so now that is what the first thing. So this is for calculation of number of moles. Now keep it in calculation of mass. If number of particles is given, so this formula when we will use guys, when they have given mass, we will use this formula. N is equals to m by m molar given mass divided by molar mass. Now second case calculation calculation of moles if number of particles is given please remember calculation of calculation of moles if number of particles is given what is that number of particles is given is it okay guys Shall we start now? Shall we start? Yes, sir. So, whenever they are giving you the number of particles, then the number of Number of moles is equals to. Please, all of you remember. Given number of particles, all of you should remember. Given number of particles, number of particles, we will represent with the capital N. What is the symbol of given number of particles? Capital N. 
and we always will compare with the Avogadro rows number. So Avogadro rows number is the one we always will represent with the n naught. N naught. Please remember n and the subscript is zero. N naught. So in the case of given number, if they are giving the given number of particles and they are asking us to find what guys? What they are asking us to find? Mr. Nimish? Number of moles. What is that? Number of moles. Then, if you will observe very carefully, the formula is number of moles is equals to given number of particles divided by Avogadro number. Is it okay everybody? Please respond. Given number of particles, number of particles divided by Avogadro number. Is it okay guys? Harish, Avogadro's number. So now tell me Avogadro number of substance for how many moles of substance? Example, I am asking. Avogadro number of any substance is equal to for how many moles? 6.022 into 10 power minus 2, 3 moles. For how many moles? 6.022 into 10 power 23 for how many moles of substance? 1 moles. 1 moles. Per 1 mole. Please remember that. Per 1 mole. Means you should get that in the substitution. That is why I am saying per 1 mole. Okay. So this is what the second formula. Hope everybody clear. Understand with actually when given mass. What is the formula? When given particles, what is the formula? Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Write it. Write it when commands connected with this Okay, now we will solve one question for in this, then you will understand. So let's start now. Only one question, then tomorrow we will continue from here so that you will understand very clearly. Okay, guys. Okay, so is it completed? Is it completed? Now write the question. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Right. I think uh, what is the question I can give? Yeah, please write. The given number of hydrogen atoms is Hydrogen atoms, guys. The given number of hydrogen atoms is 3.0.3.011.3.0.11.3.0.11 into 10 power into 10 power 10 power 23 into 10 power 23 10 power 23 then calculate the number of moles calculate the number of moles of hydrogen atoms calculate the number of moles of the hydrogen atoms that is the question yes please so you have to solve it and you have to tell me calculate the number of moles calculate the number of moles of hydrogen atoms. Okay, anybody? Can you say? Harish, with that three. Have you me? Two point zero one one moles. I'm asking moles. 
B. Yes, please. So, what is that answer, please? Zero point five. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is only this. We have to be very careful. Okay. So tell me, yeah, zero point five. Very good. Seven grams are wrong. I am asking moles. You are saying grams. What is this, Mister? No. So now I am giving given. Given. Tell me what is the given. I want to end with the class fastly. Fastly. Tell me given. What is the given number of particles of hydrogen? Given number of particles of hydrogen. Fastly. 3.011 into 10 power 28 particles. Sorry, 10 power 23 particles. Is it right or wrong? Yes, please. Are atoms atoms of hydrogen? Is it right or wrong? Please respond. Now we know that Avogadro number. Avogadro number of hydrogen atom, which is equal to how much? 6.022 into 10 power 23 atoms. Atoms of hydrogen. Per how many moles are it? Per how many moles? How many moles, guys? Per one mole. Understanding? So number of moles is equals to given number of particles divided by Avogadro number, which is equals to given number is three point zero double one into ten power twenty three divided by six point zero double two into 10 power 23 particles per sorry atoms atoms per one mole okay now 10 power 23 10 power 23 will get cancelled so be very careful this one you see that 3.011 divided by 6.022 ones are twos are is it right or wrong harish which is equals to one by two and mole will go up one by two moles. Means zero point five moles. Is it okay, guys? So, what is the number of hydrogen atoms? Are there errors? What is the number of hydrogen atoms? Zero point five moles, which is equal to three point zero double one into ten power twenty three particles. Is it okay, Harish? Actually, that is what. Yes, sir. So this. Is You have to find number of moles based upon the given mass and based upon the given number of particles. Hope you all understand this one. So, if you understand this, then next, if they will ask you given mass and ask you the calculating number of particles, same way, if they will ask you to given given particles and ask you the mass. Then that is a case number three and case number four. We will discuss in the next class. So till here, please all of you try the example sums and all in your NCERT book so that you people will uh, understand uh, somehow. So try if not also I will spend more more time on this uh, to solve numericals because it is very concern for higher classes and as it is this is the only concept you learn which is helpful for your. 11th and 12th and even 9th 10th class also from the class 9th is only mole concept so please concentrate on it is there or not for exam doesn't matter is not our business we have to learn okay thank you everybody bye we'll meet next next class thank you sir